I like to go over making a dark theme in FreeCAD kind of like this. That looks nice. And you'll notice you even can have your own logo in FreeCAD if you would like. Uh, so normally FreeCAD looks something more like this. And uh, I, I always like darker things. You'll notice uh, in my earlier videos I've had a dark theme, but since I've upgraded from 1604 to 1804, I had to figure out how to make FreeCAD itself dark, whereas before I had a theme in 1604 that just made FreeCAD dark as part of the theme of the OS. So, uh, to make it dark, you use something called style sheets. I went to FreeCAD web forums and found some information uh, posted by Pavlogil, Pavlogil, sorry if I've mispronounced it, and it has some great information and some downloads on style sheets that you can make your own styles with. So if you uh, click here, it will start a download and you'll end up with some files like this. So you have to put the files in the right spot. First thing is go to your home folder, open up your .freecad folder. should be in your home folder. If, if it's not showing up, I usually just type a period and it shows the folders that have a period in front of the name. So home.freecad, go to GUI, style sheets, and then put, oh, and, and if style sheets doesn't exist, just create a folder called style sheets as I have, and then put the stuff that you downloaded in that folder. And you have a bunch of default themes. I've made my own here. Everything else comes with the download of 1.8a. Uh, once you've got that folder in there, restart your free CAD, and you should be able to go to Edit, Preferences, and then on Style Sheet, you can choose something like dark blue. And it's, I think, very much easier on the eyes to, uh, to deal with. Uh, so how do you make your own theme? Well, what I've done is I've gone to a theme that I generally like. I like the dark blue, and I say Control-C, Control-V, right? And so I make a copy. I renamed that copy to Joko theme. And we open this up. We go to the very top, and I've used an HTML color finder. So if I go to the web, I'll put this uh, URL in the description as well, but I just chose the color that I liked, copied the color code here, and then I came down to where it says main window, and I've uh, put my color code that I like here, right? So. If I enjoy this sort of purpley color up here, control C, control V, and I will save. We'll go to edit preferences and I'll say no style sheet, apply go back to the theme, apply, and there's our new color. It's a little bit of a loud color for my taste, but uh, you can have a pretty cool little loud visual. Actually, you know, that's kind of cool in the way that it fades. Maybe I'll keep that, who knows? That, you know, I, I kind of surprised myself, but that's kind of a cool, bold color. So, <laughs> anyway, uh, that's how you would customize your style sheet. Now, in this images folder, I've uh, put a copy of my back of my YouTube channel. I just uh, downloaded this program called Inkscape. I think it's open source, free to use. I put a transparent version of my logo in Inkscape, exported, did a little save as as an SVG file. You have to use an SVG file. And then I went into my style sheet. In my style sheet, under this main window, um, I have images, slash, and then I just typed the name of the file that I put into my images folder. Here to there. And now it looks at that image to put into FreeCAD. So this image loads with the FreeCAD program. So you can do whatever you want. You know, you do a picture of your family if you're sentimental or something. Uh, so anyway, hope this video was helpful. If it was, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.